Hey there, it's Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. If we haven't met before, I'm a K through six elementary art teacher and I work at a Title I school just outside of Washington, DC. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick back to school haul. This video is also entitled, So That's Where All My Money Went. I'm gonna include a couple of things that I bought at the very end of the school year that you might've seen um, in some of my videos. Um, on my Instagram, I know I posted about these awesome prints that I got at TJ Maxx. I got the girl with the pearl earring and also the Mona Lisa. I'm not sure if you can tell um, on video here, but these have a little bit of 3D texture to them. I already had a Starry Night one um, from this collection, but I was excited to grab those two as well. I placed those on my cabinets in the back of my room, um, just above the cabinets, and it kind of makes the room, I think, feel a little bit bigger that way because there's fun things to look around and see. Um, these cabinets I got at Hobby Lobby. Don't really love giving them my money, but they, they got me because I love these rainbow drawers. Uh, this is a smaller set and I believe the brand is really good stuff. I'll try to link it below, um, all these things, um, if you want to get them as well. These are really great. Um, at the end of the year, we were doing a sewing project with kindergarten um, where we were sewing rainbows. So I put like the red yarn in the red drawer, the orange yarn in the orange drawer, and that really worked out well. I also started to label these and I have these behind my desk with things like technology items, pens, pencils, thank you cards, things that I needed to get access to really easily. I made a trip to Lakeshore, which is a teacher store. Thankfully, where I live, there is a physical store location that we can go into, but this is also a website that you can check out. And I got this really awesome giant classroom um, timer that's magnetic. And I use a time timer. You might have seen that in my videos before so that the students can see how much time is left in class. But I'm going to use this one as my timer for if we have to have silent art. Sometimes we start with like five minutes of focus. Sometimes the class has gotten worn about being quiet and then they have silent art um, and so this is the visual that I'm going to use and it's easily able to stick there up on my board only caution with this one is um, this I think was like $55 I was able to return it um, recently because it was on sale for only um, 30 still kind of an expensive product but I think this is something that I'm going to use for years to come and, and really use it every day uh, when on my trip to Hobby Lobby I found these adorable letters I have literally no idea how I'm going to use them but you're going to see them somewhere hopefully in my room or maybe I'll make some kind of a shirt or something out of those. Uh, went to Michael's early in the summer when they had the back to school stuff. They already have Halloween stuff up now but you may be able to find some of these things on clearance and got this kindness changes everything sign um, at Lakeshore that teacher store. I got these really cute um, notepads. Um, I got labels. So these are like name tag labels. These are rainbow scallop ones. I really like this. You see this kind of throughout my room, this painted palette um, from Creative Teaching Press. I have like borders and things and it sort of looks like uh, paint chips. It's really fun for an art room. Um, I got these circles when I was at that teaching store as well. I use these in my pencil spot that's called Pennsylvania. This way there's a visual for students to put each pencil cup back on top of a circle. Um, so I get new ones every year because that's Spot just kind of gets messy because pencils. Um, don't really know how I got suckered into buying these, but these are labeled binder clips. I mean, you could just label your own with a Sharpie or a paint marker, uh, but these kind of seemed fun. They say like file to be graded, graded, send home make copies so you know that's going to keep me organized I'm, I'm sure um these are fun little magnetic accents um and just like a little rectangle and you can stick it up on your board i thought this might be fun to do with maybe like steps of a project or like what to do when students are finished i might even put my schedule up on the board each day with these kind of one of those things where i didn't exactly have a plan but like i just know it's gonna be a useful thing there's 20 pieces in each pack and i end up picking up two of those um i also got some magnetic letters um to put something again i don't know it's magnets i was just impressed that like teaching has come that far they don't have to put everything up with tape and staples and they suckered me in. Another magnetic thing that I got, um, and this sort of matches the borders that I already have, like the paper borders, but this is magnetic border. So I think that I might use this along my whiteboard because it is magnetic. Um, part of my desk is magnetic, so I may use it to kind of like judge that up there. And my filing cabinets are really yucky. I want to spray paint them, but like I just don't see that uh, getting done this year. So I may put these, cut these down and put these on my filing cabinet. It's pretty long too. I got two packs of them, but it's 24 feet. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, 
for my incentive like behavior thing um i just keep track literally just for fun like they don't earn a party or anything uh when they get to the end of the chart or when they get five or anything like that just sort of for bragging rights also for me to sort of remember like hey how did last week go um but i always get pick up a chart at the teacher store i think literally like if i'm being honest this is what i went in for when i went to lakeshore and i came out with all that other stuff uh, Dollar Tree. I have a Dollar Tree haul video, by the way, like with art teacher favorites. Um, some things that I found um, last school year um, at the Dollar Tree, but also like some favorites, like things that I always find myself getting at Dollar Tree. And I also kind of talk about like what's cheaper at Walmart or somewhere else. Uh, now the Dollar Tree is $1.25. Um, this I thought was worth $1.25. It is a little thing that you hang up with sort of like those 3M sticky hooks and you put like your broom in there to help it stand up. I just feel like every time I would open my closet, the brooms would fall over and attack me. So hopefully that is going to solve that problem. Um, I always buy little snackies for um, my daughter and I. She goes to my school to have like before or after school. Um, you know, if you forget to pack your lunch one day, you got the munchies, whatever, I like to have a cabinet with those items ready to roll for the school year. Um, I did use my Target 20% uh, off teacher deal. I think that's still going on right now if you're watching this video um, right when it comes out. So check into that. They're giving teachers 20% off their whole order, not just teaching stuff as they did in the past. Got this pack of flare pens. It's kind of neat because it comes with two um, metallic pens. I'm not sure that flare pens are my favorite, but like I'm a teacher, so I guess I have to have them, right? Um, I do like these black uh, paper mate uh, gel pens. And I think these are my favorite pens kind of at the moment, especially for writing in my planner. And I've talked about these before. I have a favorite things, like favorite teacher of things video. Um, I will link that down below, but I talked about these. These are the erasable pens. Uh, they're gel pens that I use in my planner. So like I write out my lesson plan, like what they're doing for that day. And then if we have a snow day or whatever, I can erase things and adjust um, accordingly. At Michael's, I got this adorable little pencil bucket. Literally no idea what I'm going to use it for, but it just kind of screamed art teacher. Now it is filled with these. This is what I spent uh, beginning of my summer cutting out, uh, these little crayon templates. This is gonna be my back to school um, project. So maybe not the first week, the first week we may do name tags, but week number two, I think all my classes are gonna do something to design a crayon thinking that I'll go along with their table color. So they kind of remember what color table they sit at if they sit at the red table, they color a red crayon, or we might go with favorite colors, but I think the whole rainbow effect of having the table colors uh, might make a really good display in the end. The next items I'm gonna share are um, a project that I think I picked up a long time ago. I got the wooden like ART letters and I am finally this year gonna do something with them. They're not just gonna sit in my closet, I hope. Uh, I'm gonna spray paint them. So I grabbed some spray paint while I was out at the store. And then I'm gonna do different art supplies on each letter. I can't find the yarn that I picked, but I'm gonna do one with these fun, colorful buttons. I'm gonna do one with pom-poms and then one with the yarn uh, that is missing. Uh, this is another thing that kind of fell in the snack category. I grabbed these um, from Target. This is like a Truly Lemonade uh, drink mix. Just kind of nice to have in your classroom when you're sick of drinking your water. You can make it a little bit fancy. Um, picked up these little bags at Marshall's. I've gotten some of these in the past, but they suckered me in because now they have small ones. So like, you know, must have those, right? 99 cents uh, Marshall's bags. Um, every year I buy folders. So these are going to be my seating charts. I wouldn't really call these my grade books. I'm not writing grades in them, but I have my seating chart on the front and I'm using these kind of like plasticky material folders that have like the three hole punch. So there we go. So um, I can put in here a behavior log. Now I saw something recently on Instagram where they sort of had a chart um, where they're just like making checks and there were already some options there of maybe what misbehaviors they were tracking. So I may change this up, but I did get this already with the name and date to put misbehaviors there. This is where I keep my name tag labels that I use to keep my um, student artwork organized and on the front, I tape a little um, seating chart. So I already got those in all the colors um, of course, color coding by grade level and have those ready to go. Um, each year I get a new planner. And of course, if you've noticed my clothing, I'm obsessed with Lily Pulitzer. They have beautiful planners. I don't know that's like the best thing for teachers, uh, but it's just so pretty to look at. And I love having these to use as scrapbook papers um, the following school year when these are older. So I grabbed that. And you know, if you get a planner, like a physical planner like that, you, you have to have stickers, right? 
So I feel like I grabbed a couple of these. I think these are from Michaels. I did go on Etsy and got these really cute ones that are personalized that say um, Jarvis and I'm probably gonna use somewhere for something. Um, these are super fun. I found these at Michaels just in like the main sticker section and it was a set for makers. So like it was all different little art supplies uh, and fun things, you know, hot glue guns, scissors, pencils, rainbows, just kind of felt like, you know, a need to have item. Uh, on Etsy, I found that they had fine art stickers. And I think some teachers use this as an incentive. Not what I'm using it for. I'm literally keeping them myself. But there are famous artist stickers in this pack. So it came with like 150. And I'll be honest with you, like I was sorting them and I got ones, like the famous ones, uh, you know, that you would want to have uh, an artist that you would recognize. So it wasn't like it was a bunch of random things. I, ended up, I found them on Etsy, but they were cheaper on Amazon. So look around uh, for those. I think it was just called famous art stickers. I will link those below as well. Um, Hobby Lobby, these were on clearance. I got these um, cups. I th I'm thinking to put my paintbrushes in them. I don't know if this will even fit in my cabinet and I need to like rethink that or what, but they just seem like colorful and fun. I buy scrapbook paper. So this is one of the few like consumable things you're going to see for my students. Most of these things that I'm getting, um, they're for me or they're something that like I'm going to use from year to year to year. Um, I do not like to buy things that are consumable that I'm going to have to get every year um but this is kind of hard to get with our school funding just the way that things work out and i got this on clearance at michael's but i get the scrap of paper so i use this when we're doing like people collages this is the clothes so i will cut this into much smaller rectangles and put this in a box and put that out for students on my target order i don't think it's all here yet but i got these little paper trays um i think they were three dollars a piece and i got a couple different colors this year i might do something where like my slimy green table has a slimy green bin to turn things in. I don't know. Uh, my schedule this year, I mean, it's not good. Like, I don't even really want to talk about it. I'm, that's why I'm probably doing this haul video instead of setting up my room because I just don't want to deal with the schedule. But I may need to do some more organizational things for back-to-back -back classes. Um, these, uh, I've always wanted these. Actually, I did have them before. Um, this is for outside, so you can see that my room faces this courtyard, and it is super overgrown right now. Um, the Exodians, I'm sure, will take care of that soon. But the section that you're seeing is the milkweed garden. So our second grade students use that for getting milkweed to feed their butterflies. But out in that area, I know before the pandemic, I had these fun, colorful pinwheels so that when you were looking outside, like this is what you saw. How does that not make you smile? Uh, so I replaced those because we weren't here for a while during the pandemic and they faded. And then eventually I think the custodians just like took them out and threw them away. Somehow they disappeared. Um, I got some Kleenexes to start this school year. Um, I would recommend if you um, just buy yourself a box to get started, but then ask your classroom teachers. This is something that's on like everyone's list and they will share some with you. They realize their snotty nose kids are coming to your art room and you can usually just ask them to share. Um, I got a sharp pair of these Fisker scissors. This is definitely in my favorite things video as well. I just use these all the time. So occasionally they do get dull. I probably could sharpen them, but I got suckered into getting a new pair. Uh, Target got these little storage cups. These might be my pencil cups. But I don't know. I don't know when you put pencils in these. Is it so heavy that they just tip over? Because that would drive me crazy. I have pencil cups, but it just seemed kind of like nice that they were colorful and fun. So you may see these in Pennsylvania. It may, they may get another use. And at Michael's, this is my last item, I got lap desk. Now, I've had some of these in the past, but for some reason, the way that we were storing them, it just didn't really work out. Um, if you store them just like there are right now, like where they're all stacked on top of each other, the students um, were having trouble sometimes getting them apart. And so occasionally they would just pull from one side and it would break. It's totally not their fault. This is not thick plastic or anything. It took me, I don't know how many years, but we started doing this and doing like a crisscross when we put them away now. And I taught my students how to do this. And then we didn't have any more that broke. So I use these, like if students um, finish early and they want to kind of just like move away from the clay, clay or the paint and work on an exit ticket on the carpet or if they have free time, just helps so we can spread out a little bit because I do have that courtyard area 
Those are also fun to use outside. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm out of breath now. All this uh, crazy shopping and fun things that I now need to put away. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram and you're definitely following me on YouTube and I'll see you in my next video. You love shopping for your art room. If you do, check out this video all about my Dollar Tree haul next.